Hello everybody, James Agat once said, To force myself to earn more money, I determined to spend more. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how much you'll spend to earn more. Of course, the expenses we'll talk about here are the application costs for a foreign teacher who wants to teach in the US on a J-1 visa. I will categorize expenses too. First, unnecessary expenses. Second, non-negotiable expenses. Third, negotiable expenses. And fourth, not really an expense. I know, that's weird, but I will tell you why I call it like that. And by the way, these expenses are those you will cover while outside of the US. If you want to know your first month expenses in the US, watch this video later. H-1B visa application costs are completely different. I will create a video on that in another time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got some great videos about teaching and living in the US on a visa. You can also find me on Facebook, so make sure to like and follow my page. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you've probably seen my video on application costs. I decided to make this one because there have been some updates, so this is the 2023 edition. Right off the bat, I will tell you about the three unnecessary expenses. Starting off with the biggest one. If you hire the services of a placement agency, the placement fee goes from $6,000 US to $17,000 US. The price really does depend on which placement agency you hire. I always say this and I will say it again because it's very important for you to know that this placement fee does not include airfare visa application fee, program fee, etc. This is just a fee you give to the agency which is not even a visa sponsor nor an employer. The placement fee may have gone down a bit since more and more teachers are now learning how to do the application process on their own, which means that they now have less clients. If you follow the things that I have been sharing in this channel and in my page, you will save a lot of money. So again, do the application process on your own. All the information you need is available online. Honestly, I'm not the only one that has this content. I know it can be intimidating, but hey, a lot of us already did it and I know that many of those who paid placement fees are regretful. Not all, but many for sure. Alright, that's out of the way. Let's talk about the other totally unnecessary expenses. If you happen to also hire a facilitating agency or a person who charges consultation fees, just to answer your questions about the application process, then that's going to cost you at least $100. Some people might also invite you to attend a seminar to learn more and this will cost you $50. If you follow my page, I do coaching and consultation for free on the day and time I stated on my page. I also do Facebook live to answer questions real time. Again, that's for free. You can thank me by subscribing to my channel and following my page. If you can share my videos, like them, then even better. That's all the fees that I need. Oh, and leave some encouraging comments too. So far, that's three unnecessary expenses for for you. That's a total of 6150 to 17150 US dollars. Now let's talk about the expenses that you can't get out of. I call them non-negotiable because these are the ones that you'll have to pay for no matter who your visa sponsor or employer is. These expenses make sense for the teacher applicants to cover because if the application is not successful then the visa sponsor or employer wouldn't have lost any money. Number one, Philippine passport. You can check out your own country's price list on this and I'm sure for the rest of my list as well. These are for the Philippines. The cost of renewing a Philippine passport is the same as obtaining a new one. In 2023, the fee for regular processing is 950 pesos, so that's 16.76 US dollars, while special or expedited processing costs 1,200 Philippine pesos or about 21.17 US dollars. Regular processing will take 12 business days while special or expedited processing will take 6 to 7 days depending on whether you are within Metro Manila or outside Metro Manila. Next, J-1 visa application processing fee is $160. J-2 visa application fee per head is also $160. That's only if you have 
any J2 visa dependent applying for visa with you. Fourth is the non-professional driver's license. This does not include the medical, driving courses fees, and other expenses. Application is 100 pesos or $1.76. The card is 585 pesos or $10.33. Number five, transcript of record, DLSU, that's 500 pesos or 8.83 US dollars. Diploma, certified true copy, again DLSU is 200 pesos or 3.53 US dollars. I use DLSU as an example because that's where I took my master's degree in physics. Obviously the fee for the TOR and diploma varies per school. Number seven is NBI clearance certificate. In other countries, I don't know what you call this, but this is the criminal record clearance certificate. It's 155 pesos or 2.74 US dollars if to be paid online through GCash for instance, but the standard is 130 pesos or 2.29 dollars. Number eight is PSA birth certificate, 365 pesos or 6.44 dollars. PSA marriage certificate, 365 pesos or 6.44 44 dollars number 10 is travel tax at the airport first class passage is 2700 pesos economy class is 1620 pesos or 28.59 us dollars 11 cfo documentary stamp of 30 pesos or that's 0.53 dollar cfo does not charge pedos fee anymore unlike during my time anyway let's move on to the negotiables i do not mean negotiable in the usual usage okay I'm calling it negotiable only because I do not have a better term for it, forgive me. But what I mean here is that these are expenses that some visa sponsors actually shoulder. So that's another tip for you. If you are very confident with your credentials and interviewing skills, you can be more choosy with your visa sponsor. The more perks a visa sponsor offers teacher applicants, the more competitive their requirements are. EPI, for instance, will reimburse the FCE cost if the application is successful and they also take care of airfare up to 750 US dollars and the teacher will take care of the excess through salary deductions. Some visa sponsors also take care of the service fee and 100% of the airfare. Go ahead and check out this video about J1 visa sponsors that do not charge program and other fees. Okay, so here are the negotiables based on my new created definition. Service fee is $350. FCE, that's the Foreign Credential Evaluation course course by course evaluation for Spantron is $220 for 10 business days, $400 for 5 business days, $575 for 2 business days. For WES, a West evaluation cost between $160 to $205 US dollars. I have not found like the exact amount. I only see this range. Extra charges may apply if a student wants an urgent or express delivery service. Not just a student, also teacher applicants. All right, and then one way per person airfare is 1,000 to 1,600 US dollars. All right, the final category is what I call the not really an expense, all right? It's not really an expense because you're not paying anyone with it. It's something you keep in your home country bank account to show that you can support yourself while you're in the U.S. and not earning it. For instance, you arrived last week of July, but the classes start August 2nd week, for instance. So that's what this money is for. In the Philippines, it's called show money. The amount required varies by visa sponsor, but it's usually at least two thousand US dollars. The visa sponsor will usually ask for a bank statement showing transactions and a balance of at least two thousand US dollars or the equivalent in the applicant's local currency. The visa sponsors usually ask for this show money when the teacher applicant already received a job offer. So in the meantime, you can turn in your bank statement even without this much money in there. All right, here's a video that shows how to start the application process in case you don't don't know yet. Let us assume that you did not pay the unnecessary expenses category which is 6,150 US dollars to 17,150 US dollars and also that all fees are standard meaning there will be no expedite or special fees and that you also do not have a J2 dependent. So non-negotiable expenses total 245.5, negotiable expenses 1,640, not really an expense 2,000. Total of 3,885.5 
US dollars. That's 220,300 pesos. Imagine how much more you'll need to save if you hire a placement agency, a facilitating or consulting agency, and attend a seminar with a fee. And that's not even counting all the other expenses like transportation, hotel accommodation if you don't live near the US embassy, medical exams for your driver's license, and a driving lessons if you need them, and many others. That's a lot of money, right? But like I said at the beginning of this video, if you want to earn more, you have to spend more. Watch this video to get some ideas on how to build your application funds and how to save your hard-earned money as you work in the U.S. on a J-1 visa for five years. If you want to know about teacher salaries, expenses, and savings, I have these two videos for you as well. If you're thinking about teaching in the U.S. on a J-1 visa, I hope that the information that I shared in this video is helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.